Hello there, stamping friends. This is Janas Makula and welcome to another Hero Arts video tutorial. You're watching Color Layering with Jana and in this episode we're taking a closer look at the Color Layering Elephant set. If you're new to the Color Layering video series, these videos are all about exploring different color options for the Hero Arts Color Layering sets and there's a ton of sets to choose from. If you missed any of my previous videos from this series, be sure to watch them. I always strive to give you lots of fun color choices and card ideas to help you get the maximum use out of your stamps. Hero's recommended color combo for the elephant set is black, chalkboard, soft granite, and unicorn. I looked through my stash in search of similar colors and decided to try stamping my elephants using black for the outline, soft granite for the solid layer, and charcoal for the detail layer. I like to use my stamping tools such as the Mini Misty whenever I play with my color layering sets to be able to get better results. Now you can still get great results if you stamp these images using a clear block, but having a Misty or a similar stamping tool will allow you to double stamp your images if needed, and you'll see me do this often throughout this video. When you're stamping with the Hero Arts dye inks, you need to remember to give these inks a little bit of time to absorb into the paper and dry. The initial impression is not going to look very good, but as the time passes and as the ink dries, you will end up having a beautiful solid coverage. Another trick I wanted to share is to let your ink dry in between the layers, especially if you're using colors of ink that are very similar. Often I like to use my heat tool to quickly dry my stamped image before going to the next layer. When my ink is dry, anything I stamp over it will have more crisp and detailed lines and the colors will not bleed one into another and will stay true. So I'm stamping an adult and also a baby elephant today and I'm using same colors for both images. This color layering elephant set is not a hard one to align. It doesn't have too many layers, there's just three layers and considering that you can use black for the outline, you really need just two colors of ink to stamp some fun elephants for your cards. Now elephants don't usually come in all sorts of colors in nature. They are usually gray and if you are going for the realistic looking elephant, you can stamp it in various shades of gray. I don't know about you, but I associate elephant with plush toys. And as a stuffed animal, elephant can come in any color your heart wants. I wanted to stamp some pink and blue elephants for my cards today for baby cards for our friends, so I used pink and blue colors for my projects. You can use black ink for the outline if you like, like I mentioned, but I decided I wanted these images to have a softer look to them. So I used a darkest pink and blue to stamp the outlines. By the way, whenever there is an outline to a color layering image, that also gives you the opportunity to color the image using your favorite coloring medium. I think this is a great way to stretch your stamps and get more use out of them. Having an outline always adds additional value to any image in my eyes. I use the following colors to stamp the pink elephant. Raspberry Jam for the outline, and here you can use any other deep red color. You can use Red Royal or Mold Wine, and both would make a great alternative to the Raspberry Jam. And by the way, I'm doing my stamping on the Hero Arts Layering White Paper. I always love to use this paper with my Hero Arts inks, as I feel that these inks perform really well here. For my solid layer, I used soft pink color, and this is the lightest in my color combo today. Now, I did clean my stamp using Hero Arts Ultra Clean Cleaning Solution, and I did that off camera. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any leftover gray ink on my stamp, not to contaminate the pink. There are many stamp cleaners out there, but the Ultra Clean has been an absolute favorite of mine for years, and I'm yet to find anything that cleans clear stamps better than the Ultra Clean. For the detail layer, I used Ultra Pink, and you can also use Rose Matter Color or even Pink to Red Ombre Ink Pad. I am a huge fan of using ombre ink pads for my color layering images as they just add so much color and shading you can't get that with anything else. 
I used the same approach for stamping another elephant using shades of blue. The colors I used were navy for the outline, soft sky for the solid layer, and cornflower for the detail layer. There are coordinating dyes available for these elephants. There's a dye for both the adult and the baby elephant, and there's also a birthday balloon. So I cut all of my animals out and started working on getting other elements for my cards ready. The color layering elephant set is designed for birthday and belated birthday cards in mind, although you definitely can use this set for other things. I wanted to make my cards into birthday cards. I'll have two baby cards, one for a little boy and one for a little girl, and also one belated birthday card. One of my favorite stamp sets and die sets from Hero Arts is the Luggage Tag Alphabet set. This was a kit add-on from ages ago, and I love to use this set to build my own custom sentiments. I used this die to cut a bunch of letters out of white paper, and I used the same ink colors that I used to stamp the elephants to stamp individual letters forming words for my baby cards. I went with little one for my pink elephant and also white heat embossed happy birthday in white embossing powder onto a black cardstock banner. And happy birthday message comes from the elephant set. I really like this playful font and thought that it would go really well with the birthday theme on my cards. For clean and simple cards, such as my baby elephant cards here, I like to use specialty paper, and Hero Arts has just the paper that I love. It's white with subtle wood grain texture. I'm using foam adhesive squares here, and I'm going to first foam mount my adult elephant somewhere in the center on the panel, a little bit closer to the top. And next, I will foam mount the baby animal on top. I want it to look like as if the baby is walking right next to the mom elephant. I also used foam adhesive and foam mounted letters that spell out little one. I added my happy birthday sentiment on top and now I'm cutting the stamped balloons out. I stamped a balloon image that comes with the elephant set and I want to color one or more of those balloons to add to my baby elephant. Just a little extra something to add to my card. I used Copic markers and colored it using the RV00, RV23, and a hint of shimmer pen for some sparkle. I foam mounted one of the balloons onto my card and embellished it using sequins from the champagne sequin mix. I love using this particular mix as it features neutral colors that go really well with a lot of different projects. I added some white and some gold sequins and adhered them using deluxe adhesive from Tonic Studios. This is my go-to adhesive for these kinds of things. For my blue baby elephant card, I white heat embossed hello. I didn't really want to make this into a birthday card per se. I went with hello little one sentiment for this card. I did everything in exactly the same way, but simply did a slightly different element arrangement on the card. I dressed this card up using blue sequins from the winter sequin mix. For my last card for today, I wanted to play a bit with the fact that elephants like to carry things in their trunks or pick up things with their trunks. So I looked through my stash for a small floral arrangement or any appropriate item that would be small enough to tuck into the trunk of the, my last elephant. I came across the little bucket of flowers from the Wishing Well set from the 2018 catalog and thought that this image was simply perfect for the card idea that I had in mind. I stamped it in black ink, this is intense black, which is an alcohol marker friendly ink, and I used just a handful of markers for my coloring. I went with a YG03, YG17, E79, E37, E33, Y17, Y15, RV09, and RV11. This is a very small image, so you really don't need to have a lot of colors as there's not that much room for blending. I colored this image and I cut it out with the help of a coordinating die. To create a background for this card, I went with one of my favorite background stamps from Hero. This is Tribal Stripes Background. This was an add-on to Hero Arts Kit last summer and I stamped it in a butter bar ink with the help of my stamp platform. My paper was taped onto the platform using removable adhesive, so that's why it wasn't sitting in the corner of the tool, nor was it held down with the magnets. 
I foam mounted my elephant and the little floral bucket along with a sentiment that reads, I remembered your birthday. Elephants are known to have exceptionally good memory. There's even a novel by Agatha Christie titled Elephants Can Remember. So I really like how Hero Arts used this to come up with this fun sentiment for a belated birthday card. I trimmed my background with the elephant to four by five and a quarter inches, and I foam mounted that onto an A2 white card base. I also used same champagne sequence to embellish this card. So here is a closer look at all three projects created using Hero Arts Color Layering Elephant Stamp Set. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode from the Color Layering with Yana video series. Be sure to stop by next month for the next episode, and in my next episode, I'm going to show you card making ideas using the Color Layering Caterpillar set. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet done so. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.